Good morning, friends. Um, today I'm going to be doing my 2017 bullet journal flip through. I'm so excited. And yeah, this is my journal. It's January to December of 2017. And the little thing on the front says, be here now. Um, it's a quote that I really love. And yeah, this was my very first page of 2017. It's just like a really basic page. Um, with some kind of simple resolutions on them and I'm actually pretty proud of like the goals that I achieved this year looking back this is my very first spread I ever did I don't like it at all it's so chaotic it's just like crazy everywhere um, but yeah you can really see how my style develops throughout this I started off doing these weekly spreads with these big chunky calendars and lots and lots of journaling and that is not what it was like at the end of the year but um i do think i've kind of maintained a style of combining photos in a sort of a collage way um with drawing this was my tbr and i read 16 books last year i originally had this page where i put quotes and stuff but I'm not a huge fan of the way it turned out um this is sort of where my weekly spread started to take shape. Um, I was still doing the big blocky calendar thing, but I was figuring out how to include tasks and pictures and stuff. Um, still doing a lot of journaling and I would basically go online and print off photos that I thought were sort of inspiring. This is a spread that I did for my hike on the PCT and it was a lot of fun to like plan things out. Um, visually I had a great time with that spread and I did a spread with like sort of a basic list of things I needed to pack for backpacking trips because I took a lot last year and different meals that I could take backpacking because I'm not a fan of dehydrated food so again a great useful spread um another weekly plan I was starting to you know be upset with the amount of room that that big blocky schedule was taking up so I was trying to condense it down, trying to figure out how to maximize the usage of my space. Oh, that's a picture of my little dog. And yeah, this is my February monthly spread. I love it so much. I did this gratitude log where I drew pictures of the things I was grateful for. I had a little A-frame house there because we were taking a trip to one. I just love the way it looks. It's so cute. And that month I also did a mood mandala. It's the only month I did one, but I, I love the way it turned out. I just didn't find it very useful. The same with the tracker. I, I wasn't very good at filling it in and I didn't find it productive. This is a spread I did for a trip to Colorado. So with a lot of trips, I'll do one side of the page is sort of my packing list and one is sort of for memories. So I have some pictures I took on the trip and a little journaling and our ski passes. As you can see, I'm starting to condense that like little calendar spread even more it's gonna go completely away soon this was my year at a glance and i hate it so much i didn't use it very much because it's just chaotic and too busy and it just is so disorganized i i really hate it um my 2018 one is much better so on one side of the page here i have another backpacking planning thing and I also have a little spread on like things I want to watch, like movies and stuff. Um, yeah, I love this spread so much. Um, that picture of the A-frame is just like one of my favorite pictures ever. And this spread is not one of my favorites. I Sometimes you have one that just doesn't turn out right. Uh, no matter what you do. It used to happen to me a lot when I first started off, but it still happens to me now. Um, sometimes things just kind of go wrong and you're too deep into it and you're like, I don't want to make a new spread. So you just live with it for the week and you move on. This week was one where I tried to do something kind of minimal and I am not good at minimal. It, it, it's just boring to me. I think it looks beautiful and simple, but it's just not what makes me happy. Um, this is a spread that I really love. I really loved for a while painting on top of pictures with white that's what the the picture at the top is um this was my march spread i tried to do the gratitude log thing again and honestly 
I, I kind of ran out of things. I was repeating a lot of things from the previous month. I also tried to do a tracker again, and I just was really bad at keeping up with it. And I found like that I didn't care that much to look back on it and see what my mood and stuff was like. So yeah, after this month, I basically abandoned those things for the most part. Um, and yeah, this is a spread that I tried to do with recipes and stuff, but I found that almost every other recipe I wanted to put in here was just so big, so long, that it would only be like one recipe. So I never filled it in. This is my March spread that I love. That's actually a picture of my friend Casey. And um, I have this little thing that says take no shit at the bottom, which is a quote that I really love. As you can see by now, my like little calendar spread is minuscule, and I think that's actually the last time I ever used it. This was my planning page for a trip I did with my brother in Zion that was so much fun. Um, I had a lot of time, fun planning it out too. Um, doing little doodles and planning out all of our gear and where we were gonna hike, it was really great. This is another planning page. I was very busy that month. <laughs> um, for a bachelor party trip that I went on with one of my best friends. So yeah. Oh wait, I, I still have one more month where I'm doing this dumb little spread. But yeah, I cut out these really pretty flowers for this one. And as you can see, I was very excited about spring being there. I was tired of the snow. So this is the first spread where I totally abandoned that calendar view. Um, that picture up there is from a hike I did to some hot springs. And I just sort of started doing a like, daily lists because I felt like it was a lot more helpful. I also um, have this Polaroid and I used washi tape to make a little frame, which I really love the way that it turned out and I still do that pretty frequently. Here's my April spread. Um, I did still do a tracker, but again, I didn't keep up with it very much and I'm almost sure that this is the last month it appears. Um, this month I was just really busy and I didn't have a lot of time to keep up with things and I don't think that I ended up using this spread that much. It just happens sometimes. This is a spread that I really love. Um, I just have a quote by Cheryl Strayed right there that I think is really amazing and um, yeah, I just love the way that this one turned out. I think it everything works really well on it. So. This is a sort of short weekly spread I did because I was going on those two trips that I planned for earlier and I knew I wasn't going to have much to um, journal about. I did, however, tape this little piece um, into my journal and I journaled on a couple of the pages and I actually watercolored on one of them while I was on my camping trip, which some people would say is major overkill, but I actually had a great time. I woke up really early in the morning and I painted that um, just like sitting out by the campfire and drinking my tea and it was the best thing ever and I really hope that I can do more of this in the future. This next spread um, I really love too even though I didn't quite fill it in all the way but I was experimenting with a new gel pen that I got as you can see I'm using it a lot in future spreads um, just a white gel pen and I find it so useful because I really love the way white text looks over images like this one up here. Um, this spread again, oh my gosh, is one of my favorites ever. It's just organized really well, but it still looks sort of, I don't know, chaotic and collagey. And I love that little thing that says hike in the rain. <laughs> so this May monthly spread might be one of my favorites ever. I love the picture up here that I drew over the top of. I think it looks so cool and I started doing this like sort of big calendar. Um, over here I started doing this thing where I would um, sort of do these like little trackers that I would fill in for everything I wanted to do. So some of that was exercise, some of it was like the books I was reading. Um, there's also a really great quote that I love from Ruby Cower right down here. Um, but yeah, this is sort of the format I still use and I love it. Um, I was just loving spring and summer so much, making my journal like light and beautiful and full of green, I just think is the most fun way to journal. Um, I was experimenting on this one. That's actually a photo of me on uh, Devil's Landing in Zion National Park. And I was experimenting with drawing these like little pointy trees and stuff. Um, 
this is a spread I did for a trip, which I thought was going to be like a summery getaway holiday to Colorado, and it ended up snowing three feet, which is why it's snowy in our picture down there. Um, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I hope this year it doesn't snow in May. That would be, that would be nice if that didn't happen. Um, this spread is pretty basic. It's like nothing too exciting. I was doing this like sort of large format, um, up for my weekly goals and I do it in the future, but it's condensed a lot. That's a picture of me and my sister-in-law in Zion. Um, as you can see up there, I'm already condensing that format um a little bit there's a photo of me shooting a shotgun out in the desert real tasteful <laughs> this is my june spread i love the color scheme here i really love how it turned out again i'm doing um sort of this big calendar layout and the little things for like the books that i'm reading and i did a big quote that said adventure is out there because i love the movie up it's the best <laughs> So yeah, I was really into, around this time, like the pointy trees. I mean, I'm always into the pointy trees. I've probably already mentioned that on my channel, but um, I was drawing a lot more and just trying to figure out how to make things functional and also beautiful. This was a trip I did to Portland and I taped in some pictures um, from our trip and like little memories because um, I went to go visit my friend and we had a really good time. This is another spread where I'm like, it does not work. I don't know what I was trying to do. <laughs> it looks awful. See, I'm doing a thumbs down. It looks awful. <laughs> I just like, nothing worked. And I think I didn't even use it that much because I just didn't want to look at it. Um, it happens. This spread, on the other hand, I love. It's one of my favorites that I've ever done. It was the week of my friend's wedding. So I did this quote that says, set me as a seal upon your heart. Um, I drew all these little succulents and I think they're the prettiest things I've ever done. Like, you know, sometimes you have good days and bad days all mashed up together. So that's a spread I love. This is the spread I did for my friend's wedding with our my flight details and my like packing list and itinerary and all kinds of crazy things. Um, so I love it. It was really useful and helpful. And we're already in June. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like, we're in the end of June. Um, yeah, I just was kind of chugging along. Here's another spread that was sort of a disaster. I was using watercolors, and I already didn't love the way it looked, and then I had a water accident and <laughs> blurred a lot of my um, writing out, which is really unfortunate, so it's kind of a mess now. Um, this is my July spread, and I love it so much. I decided I was just going to, like, wallpaper a whole page in this really beautiful paper that I found and I like stuck a picture on there. I just, I don't know, I love the way it turned out. Um, and I have my big calendar thing, a goal section, and then on top of the like paper, I did all my little check marks, which I loved. This spread also, I really love like how I did the clouds. Um, I actually used my Tombows um, and my like watercolor brushes to like blur them out for the clouds up there and I love the way that it looks um everything just is like light and airy and wonderful <laughs> and now we're in winter and I feel like I have to make my spreads like I don't know cozy and I really prefer the like light airy wonderful feeling this is a spread where I tried to just illustrate all of the decorations I didn't want to put any pictures in but honestly I don't like it that much um here's another one that's a picture I took in Highlands, North Carolina. It's a really pretty place. And, uh, oh yeah, this is a spread that I did for me and my husband's first anniversary. Um, I really love it. I actually um, left that spot blank and it reminds me that I should fill it. So um, I'm just gonna like print off one of the pictures that we have from it. I just got this for Christmas. It's this HP sprocket. Like my mom gave it to me and I love it so much because of like what I'm doing right now, you can like print off pictures and they're also stickers and they're instant and then boom, it's like so easy to incorporate them into your bullet journal and you don't have to faff around with glue. So yeah, I love it. Here's another spread that's kind of open. I don't know. I kind of got like in a rut and I was like, I don't know what to do. So then I changed it up. 
crazy, right? I was like, I want to make things more chaotic and collagey and fill all the space. So I did like lots of drawing, little doodles, and I was like really working with layering stuff. Honestly, I love it so much. I love the way it looks, but it takes a lot of work. This was my August spread. I really love the way this one turned out. I decided to use a whole side of the page um, to just journal. And every single day I wrote down like maybe one sentence about that day. And I really loved it. I didn't do this for every month because some months I knew I would just be too busy to write every single night. But um, for the month of August, it really worked out for me. Here's another spread that's a little bit more chaotic. I have a quote there that says, there's always more uphill, which was like the motto of my backpacking trip. And I think this is the first spread I did after I came back from that trip. So it was kind of on my mind, um, as are all the foresty pictures. This spread I call my William Sonoma spread because it reminds me of like the inside of a William Sonoma, but I love that lemon paper. And I just love all the decorations that I used on it. Um, this one isn't that functional though. And I was starting to realize like, man, I love these spreads that are so beautiful, but like I'm having trouble making them functional too. So throughout the next couple weeks, I was like, or actually the next couple months, just wrestling with like, how do I make these super functional so that I'm using them every day and they're really helping me to organize my life, but they're also a creative outlet. They're also beautiful because that's one of the things that keeps me journaling. That's one of the things that helps me to keep up with it. Oh, Suki, that's my dog barking. This is my September spread. I love it so much. That paper up there is beautiful. It's basically the same format as August though. Um, I was trying to use up all my like summery flowery papers before uh, fall came around. So at the beginning of September, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to use them all up. There's another picture of my dog. I love her. She's a cutie. Um, she's such a little sweetheart. Uh, and yeah, um, again, I'm just trying to use up these like flowery things. But as you can see, like I'm still trying to do like paper layering, I'm still trying to make it beautiful, but I'm also trying to figure out how can I make it functional? How can I like actually use it? This is the first sort of autumnal spread that I did. I love the little leaf that I cut out and the color scheme. I was so inspired by like the colors of the changing leaves. Um, at the time I was living in Utah and the leaves change pretty early on. <laughs> so by the middle of September, things are really starting to change. This is my October monthly spread. And for this banner here, I actually colored in some leaves in an adult coloring book that I have. And then I cut out a little strip of the finished coloring page. And it was a lot of work, but I love how customizable it was and I love the way it turned out. Um, most of the pages used for journaling, but I also kept track of other things. This spread is another one where I tried to illustrate everything and I've just come to the conclusion that Illustrating everything is not for me. It's a lot of work and it never looks quite the way that I want it to. Um, I did like a little pumpkin for each day. And while I think they're really cute, it's just this style here is much more what I like. Um, I made some like tiny watercolor pictures. Um, there's actually a whole bunch of them on my Instagram if you want to check it out. But um, I loved being able to take those in. That's an actual leaf that I just Mod Podged and glued into my journal. Um, yeah, I love the way this spread turned out, all the golds and like auburn colors. This is sort of the color scheme that I stuck to for most of the fall because I love that like combination of like gold slash mustard with the auburn colors. Um, that's another little drawing um, slash painting that I did um, with my metallic watercolors actually. So this spread is one of my favorites because it's the first one that I did when we moved to Washington and I used my pointy tree paper, which I had been saving specifically for when we went to Washington. And I have a little quote that says, home is where the trees are pointy because I was really ready to be back here on the West Coast. Um, Washington is like the place that my soul loves. So I was just so excited to be there. This is my November spread and I don't know if you can even tell, I have this metallic pen that I used and so you can't quite read it um, except in the right lighting. I hope you guys can see that but the um, paper behind it is actually like a print of all these rocks and I went and cut out the shape around all the rocks <laughs> so that it would look I don't know like they were like piled on the page. 
And I have, like, the books that I want to read up above them. I was going to do NaNoWriMo. That lasted about four days because I was moving at the same time. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, I can move and do NaNoWriMo at the same time. Definitely not. It's not possible. Um, yeah. I did a lot more little paintings. Did some coffee things because it was starting to get chilly. It's sweater weather, you know. Um, this was my move-in week where we moved into our new house, um, and, and uh, I didn't keep up with journaling, as you can see. Sometimes that happens, but that's probably the most blank uh, page in my whole journal, because I was just really stressed out. I love this spread. I think the like turquoise and auburn looks really beautiful. Um, that picture up there is actually a picture that my husband took on our honeymoon that is one of my favorites ever. This is my Thanksgiving spread because I hosted Thanksgiving this year, and it's another one that I colored in from my adult coloring book, uh, and I like left some of the space blank, um, but I just love the way that it turned out. I planned all my meals there. This was um, another one. I think this was the week of Thanksgiving that was my actually weekly spread, but I just love the colors, and um, I have a lot of like sort of papers that are this wood grain because it's one of my favorite ones to use. And that one in particular is sort of a grayish wood grain, which I think is really pretty, especially in the journal. It keeps things kind of light and bright. So this journal um, is starting to get into the holiday spirit. Um, I found this gold like tape that I was obsessed with and I actually burned through it pretty fast, but you're gonna see it basically on every spread from here until Christmas because I really, really liked it. Um, this is my December spread. I made a video of this if you guys want to go check it out. Um, I'll link it up there um, in the little cards. And that's a picture of my doggo and all kinds of stuff. Check out the video to see how I did it. This was my Christmas uh, present planning page. It's a little bit of a mess, but it was really helpful to be able to write down like all the presents I needed to buy. As you can see, I have the sparkly tape again. <laughs> And uh, this was a spread from the beginning of December, and I actually have taped in here um, a ticket because we went to go see John Mulaney. Uh, he's amazing. <laughs> but our friend uh, got us tickets to see John Mulaney, and we had so much fun, so I taped that in there, sort of a memory. Uh, as you can see, you've probably noticed, I write be here now whenever I don't know what quote to use because it's my favorite quote. I think I'm going to get a tattoo of it. So this spread I decided to do those cute little wreaths and I love them so much and I even tied in a little ribbon because I figured I'm at the end of my journal who cares if I have a big honking ribbon that's gonna make it impossible to write on top of and totally disrupt the way the pages lay it doesn't matter <laughs> so yeah this spread I did all these cute little ornaments I was really into like drawing out really festive little things this was my Christmas packing list because my husband and I um, went home to Georgia to see my family for Christmas. And the other side of the page, I just put some wrapping paper and like cute tape because uh, I didn't know what to fill it up with and I wanted something that looked like cute and festive. So that's what I did. And this is my last spread of 2017. And it's my Christmas spread. Again, I did these little ornaments. I have a picture of my dog in front of the Christmas tree. And I just made things gold and light and beautiful and um, yeah, I had so much fun with my bullet journal this year. I hope you guys like this video and see, this is literally the end of my journal. I literally was ran, running out of pages right at the end. Um, these are like my scrap pages where I like cut things out and tested markers and whatnot. And then I have like my little flap at the back with all my stuff that I keep, pictures and stuff. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this flip through. It was so long. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed it. Oh, this is a sticker I have on the back that says the mountains are calling. And yeah, that's my journal. Um, stick around for my bullet journal setup for 2018. Um, that should be my next video on my channel. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.